lives. Yeah. We be like, you made it for my fuck. I don't gotta do the work. Yeah. I made it. I feel like, like, for example, like, oh, I'm Isaiah. I'm good. You yeah, you, you like, Isaiah, you good. Because Isaiah gonna be safe. Gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why it's the humbling thing the most I'm doing. I don't remember former things. Because he's asking, one in um, 10, I believe. Yeah, one in, one in nine. Yeah, one in nine. The proof on that is John the Baptist. Uh, he was Elijah the prophet. Yeah, they asked John the Baptist. And the thing is, they asked him too. That fact is it John 1. Read it. It says John chapter 1. Verse number 8. It says. John chapter 1, verse. 19 and this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him who art thou and he confessed and denied not but confessed I am not the Mashiach and they asked him what then art thou Elijah and he said I am not art thou that prophet and he answered no so he didn't know he was Elijah he didn't know but who broke it down Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai knew who everybody was See? But John the Baptist didn't know he was Elijah. But the people knew. The people asked him. said, I'm not. Why? Because I was taken away from him. So the most high hates a man that's what? That's proud. Uh. See, because you'll be fucked up if you know, yeah, I'll be, I'll be Ezekiel. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Lord, like, nah. It's a mystery. You know? Technically, our victory is already written, but in our minds, we still have to fight. Uh. See what I'm saying? Most I already know he gonna make it. He, he, he already set it up that way. But in our mind, we, we have to fight. We do don't it. know until we get there. Yeah. Gotta do the work. Yeah. 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 You know, like the brother said, if you know you Isaiah Jeremiah, you gonna fall back like you know I go out whenever you know what I mean. I am Isaiah, you know what I mean. I give to this lesson whenever I want. Nah, the Lord don't like that, man. I want you to fight for this thing. Man. And even our forefathers, you know, we read examples before, you know, the most I put them in certain situations, man. Even though they were righteous men, put them in certain situations, so they had to call out to him, man. You see? Just like, um, you know, even Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai knew he was the son of the most I, but the flesh get the best of you, man. He said, um, if it's possible, you can you take this cup away from me, man? And most I answered it, nope. You gotta go through it. So that means what? Well, we all gotta go through it, man. Alright, we all gotta fight for our salvation. Yeah, I was shy, even though he was the son of the most high. He had to suffer, he had to go through pain and sorrow, mocked, death. All of them to get that crown of glory. So, you know, we gotta fight for the same thing. Obviously, our cross is not as heavy as his. But we still got to fight. You know? I don't know if you got any precepts you want to hear. Um, I was going to get a precept on um, for what you said. Um, what, what you had me read it. 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. I'll read that one the time. Then the precept. Yes. Yeah. So 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So kind, kind. Like he's really saying, if you're a prophet, if you're the prophet of old, you come back in your life. Same with these, um, the wicked people. You know, they back in their life, right? Jeremiah 1 and 5. I'm sorry, verse 4. Then the, then the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashah, came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. So the Lord said, Before he was in your mother's womb, I knew thee. I already chose you. I already chose you to be a prophet, man. I ordained you to be a prophet, man. Matter of fact, he told Isaiah the same thing. Was it Isaiah 49 and 1? Isaiah 49 and verse 1. Ah! Listen, O out unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. Mm, he called Isaiah from the womb. Right? From the bowels of my mother hath he made have he made mention of my name? Where? In the spiritual realm. So he chose Isaiah's spirit um, to be a prophet. He chose Amos to be a prophet. Ooh, what did Amos say? Was it Amos 7? Prophets were called, man. 
Now we all know we've been called, we know that, but we, we have to know if we've chosen, we gotta endure. But this is the calling. If you heard, you believe, you received it, that's the, that's the call. Because a non-Israelite can't hear this. They could be intrigued by it, but they can't come in. They can't cross over. It's a spiritual block. Where do you see Moabites at, or Edomites at, um, prophesying, teaching the truth, bringing out what we bringing out? They not. Unless they look like the other nations, some brothers here, there, who look like the heathen. But where do you see the bulk of the heathen doing what we do? You don't see that, man. All right? Matter of fact, what do you tell Amos, Amos 7? Amos 7, 10. It says, Amos chapter 7, verse 10. Then Hamaziah, the priest of Bethel, and Jer Jer Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos have conspired against me in the midst. It's, it's, it's about the size, no joke. In the midst of the house of Israel, the land is not able to hear all his words. For this Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away out of the land. Yeah, because an Amos was from the southern kingdom, but the Lord sent them up to the northern kingdom to prophesy against them. You see? So Amaziah the priest was saying what Amos was saying. But let me read on. It says, Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, or prophet, Go flee thee away into the land of Judah. Go back to Judah with that nonsense, man. All right? And there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more Bethel, for it is the king's chapel and it is the king's court. So the prophets are out there, man. He's by the king's chapel condemning him, by the king's court. Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I prophet's son. But I was a herdman and a gathering with sycamore fruit or certain figs. So listen, I wasn't a prophet, nor there was a prophet, so my father wasn't no prophet. But what happened? And Yahweh Shimi Shah took me as I followed the flock, and Yahweh Shimi Shah said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. Okay? So the Lord just called him, man. Alright? There's nothing he could have done about it, man. And he had to go out there and prophesy. Man. You see? And, and he was a what? I'll show you the most high. Same thing like King David was a shepherd. Because a shepherd what? They care for the sheep. Man. That's, that, that's the type of man. That's what we all are. We're spiritual shepherds. Man. You see? Because we, we're not well known in the society. Nah. You know what I mean? People not walking by and saying, Oh, look at him. Uh-uh. third. We're not well known. We don't have... Fame in society, you know what I mean? We're not, we're just regular, like you said, shepherds. And like these other guys who, um, these other celebrities who, who, who make it, look at their latter end. Look like at their latter end. Yeah, 6 9 is the topic of the week right now. Yeah, because he then running his mouth. He made his career off talking about eating blood and bunking dudes and being a troll and uh, firing shots at this person and going to this person's city and just being an asshole, man. See? What happened? You being proud, man. You're feeling that you're untouchable. And you know what he said too? That probably the most, that's right when the most, I, like literally the day after that, I feel like the most I judged him, like, like got him locked up. Right after he said this, he had his last interview with um, Breakfast Club. He said, the only thing I fear, like, he said, my number one fear is the FBI. Then he said, wait, matter of fact, it's the, it's God, then the FBI. Yeah, and you don't fear the most side. That, and that's what he messed up at. Yeah. Put the FBI first, you yeah. know what I mean? Then he twisted up, like, no, I fear God, then, then the FBI. Yeah. And you're right, he don't fear the most side. He don't fear the most, because he was the most high, he wanted to have, have sold out. We never tied his face yeah. up like that. Six, nine, which is all sixes. That's all that is, man. Niggas is demons, man. Yeah. I think it's a straight up demons, man. And he, and he be having some saw chain, some demonic chain around his neck. All them niggas are demonic. Him, XXX. All them guys are straight Satanists, man. Trippy Red. All them guys got spirits he on them. He got six, six tied on his face. Yeah. It's trippy Red. Yeah. Them guys got spirits on them, man. Little Uzi Burr. All these guys are demons, man. A one by one, the most high is getting rid of all of them, man. 
And you know Lil Uzi Vert said it on, on a concert one time? He told all his fans, everyone that listened to his music, what he said, um, he said y'all he said y'all entered the rapture, something like that. And he said, y'all coming at basically he said like this long story short, he said y'all coming to hell with me. And people that was commenting on the thing, like, did you sell your soul to sell your soul? He said, he said, he said, that's not my soul, I sold my soul for you. Why are you on my common board if you think I sold my soul? You coming right along with me, dummy. And he violated, like he he it's like that's a demon saying, yo, y'all all my fans, y'all got pictures of me in your houses and all of that. Y'all going right with me. You know what I mean? How could you be a fan of this guy guy is clearly and a little Uzi verse is, is what Lucifer, man. You know what I'm saying? You saying fast. Yeah. Lucifer is Lucifer, man. This guy is just making their bug out, man. Remember, get at Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to, to, to the swift. The race ain't given to the swift, okay? Nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise. Nor yet riches to men of understanding. Nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happeneth to them all. Time and chance happened to them all. So all them guys, they had their time, man. They had their time, man. And that's why Solomon also said, gay. And the race ain't given to the swift, man. Uh -huh. See, this is a long race we in. This is a marathon. You know what I mean? That's what you got to endure. Read on. Uh -huh. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net. Con, con, man don't know his time, man. So why are you being proud, man? You don't know what the Most High got in store for you, man. Uh. Just like that. See, the Most High did the worst possible thing to that dude. Because if he died, then his name would probably still live on. Yeah, Takashi was real. Got, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or he, if, if he did his... Either way, he was dead. You spend the rest of your life in prison for being real? For 47 something years, life is done. Or you can get out early and mess with your name and your image is destroyed. He was, it was a lose-lose situation for this guy. Man. It was. No matter which way he turned, you could be real and, and do the rest of your life in prison until the missiles come. Or you could be a snitch and get out. And your image, what you build up is gone. Man. Like he he can't he literally can't come out and rap the same. He can't. He can't, man. He gotta go in hiding because honestly, like you know, how dudes all jakes all in the world. He's snitching. He's snitching on gang members, like you know what I mean. So they gonna be after him. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta cut that net. Yeah, that rainbow that. here. Get rid of all them stupid tattoos. And he gonna be the average joke. Probably doing Uber or whatever. Because everybody gonna just say dissociate himself from that guy, man. You know what I mean? Uh, they'll, be, they'll, cry, they'll give you a new name and a new identity. But guess what? Even though you may hide from these people, the most I still got a missile with your name on it. Say Takashi 69, man. You know what I mean? Still got a missile. This is still going to find you, man. Because you're not going to repent, man. See? Because you heard the truth, man. All right? The most I going to get him, man. And same for Kevin Gates. Uh, oh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart? No, no, Kevin Gates. Oh yeah, that idiot, man. Uh, uh, Israelite, uh, Israelite clown, went on man. his um, one of his love. Yeah, he talking about he Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on with that video. You know, the Israelite was telling him, hey, um, why, why do you worship a god, a uh, Arab god, or whatever the case may be? Kevin Gates would be like, I don't like getting into theological conversations. And he talking like, about, yeah, I know Israelites, the lion from yeah, the tribe of Judah. Yeah. You heard it. Yeah. You heard it, like once the rest he, of these guys. Once he said that, I was like. He heard it. He heard it, man. He heard it. He's talking about, yeah, I know his life, the lion from the tribe of Judah. And I was like, see, this guy, he heard all that, man. But you refuse to hark it, man. You got something? Now let me on down. I'm going to start at um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For men also know not his tongue, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Yeah, the, the suddenly fall upon you, man. Suddenly. That's why the, the Heavenly Father requires you to be what? Fair. Because he could get you at any given moment, man. Because a year ago, this guy, um, supposedly, in his mind, was untouchable. See? I think it was last year, around this time, they started locking his ass up. 
November or no, October. Somewhere around there. See? See, man, all that is vanity. Man. The fame in this world is vanity. Gone. And look how fast that happened. Because he literally was just like, I remember when he first came out. He ain't even been in prison a year yet, right? Yeah. And he already he folded, man. He already, he fold, he, they said he started cooperating the day he got arrested. He said, I got, I'm a cooperate. You know what I mean? And, I, and it's like, um, look how swift that happened. Like, uh, he popping so cold on top of the world, you know what I mean? Doing tours and shows and he's saying he's untouchable. He tests his gangsta. I'm going to this city, that city. Me myself was fooled for a second, like, oh, this, this, this little, this Ephraim might, might be like that. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like, hey, yeah. he might just be tough. You know what I mean? But then I'm also thinking like, I don't know though, like, why he talks like that? Why he moves? Like, I don't know. The next thing you know, he, he's singing like Mariah Carey in the '90s. He's snitching. You know what I mean? He cooperated with the. He's a, literally a, a, a FBI informant. He's a government informant now. All oh, that test my gangster shit. And this big idiot Jim Jones. This guy old as hell. This guy old nigga, man. Still talking this dumb shit, man. Still talking this nonsense, man. And he was the one who caused this whole situation, man. Jim Jones, right? Yeah. By telling him, yeah, you got supervisor hidden security. Because in New York, armed security, even if they armed security, can't really use a gun like that. You know what I mean? So if you hit the security, the security company gonna take security away. See what I'm saying? Because they don't want they, they men getting hurt. So to end up violating this dude. Why you old as hell still preaching this garbage, man? And you know the feds was coming, man. You think all that stuff you were wilding out, doing all that stupidness, the feds ain't watching you? And you know the feds been watching because like we've been seeing and we've been preaching for the longest, um, uh, they, they, they had that conversation already. They just released it. So they been had Jim Jones already. If they want to lock him up on the conspiracy, which they probably are, you better start running. You better go to another country. Because if the feds want to get him, that's conspiracy. See? You're sending somebody out to go hurt the body onto somebody. You're one of the perpetrators, one of the main perpetrators. It's like hiring a hitman. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The, the feds, imagine that. The feds been had that already on him. They just released it. So that show you at the feds, they've been looking at me, this brother, the eldest, all brothers, you brothers who, um, brothers and sisters who are looking online, look at it online. They got your IP address already, man. Look exactly who you are. You guys who post Israelite things on Instagram and Facebook, they, they know who you are already, man. Okay? This is not just a fad, this is life and death, man. And, and they know where I, they know where we live, all of that. Cause when we get a job, we gotta we gotta give them my address and stuff. Yeah. I thought of that when I was when I was getting my job at um, Century. I was like, dang, they gonna they gonna know where I live. You know, everybody knew. I'm like, they gonna know where I live. But the social got everything tied to it. Yeah. See, he's don't know what he's doing. And with the microchip, it's the perfect piece. You won't be able to go anywhere, do anything without them knowing. You know, like if you hand money to this brother here, they gonna know it because it's, it's a cashless society. They don't know exactly everything. That's exactly why they want that chip. The chip is the centerpiece of the new world order, man. See? So these smartphones, all that shit is taxed. They showed you that in Fast, one of the Fast and Furious movies. They got a satellite to, um, they was looking through somebody else's smartphone. And they, they got that technology. They don't need no warrants from no judge to do that. They've been doing that. Why? It started with, after 9-11. Patriot Act. Then Obama passed other executive orders, um, the NDAA, the NDRP, the National Defense Authorization Act, NDRP. These executive orders will take away more of your civil liberties. Yeah. And, that's See? and now Facebook and YouTube, all of them is what they pull in radical, what they consider radical content. See? Anything will speak out against which that's supposed to be what America's known for, free speech. They kill that, man. Uh, I mean, they kill that, man. You know what I mean? That, so... As Jake just said, he said, um, I, I, he was on the phone, I think he said, my son is Israelite. Like, he's saying, like, yo, homie, homie right here, Israelite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, we pushing. Yeah, so, they been, they, they radical as hell, man. I mean, what I'm talking about, the feds, man, they looking at everybody, man. Uh -huh. And I've seen them out here, couple of months back like brothers are stupid man and had moles right here one next to me one over there man and both had um 
stuff in their hand and I said, like, come on. As soon as I blasted and I put the camera on them, they both split. I said, look at that. Feds watching, man. Like, we give a shit. Man. Oh, we gave a crap. We won't come out here in the open. First of all, this is open. And we put it on the internet, so we not hiding nothing. The most I don't want us to hide, man. All right? She say you're supposed to fear God rather than man. Most I control it, man. Matter of fact, this is about getting that free set. I just have 15 units here. I just have 50 and 7. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. For the Lord, for the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushua will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. You're not going to be ashamed. Verse 8. He, he is near that justifies me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come nearer to me. Right. Behold, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahusha will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. Yeah. So who, who he is near that justifies me, man. So we don't fear that, man. And the scripture says, when the enemy gonna come in as a flood, because they are gonna move in on brothers. Uh, right now, they, they think they're building a case, so they got a profile. And when they're ready to make their move in the hour of Jacob's trouble, the oh, Spirit of the Lord going to lift up the standing. Spiritual power. Spiritual power, man. See? Spiritual power. So the most I got this whole thing figured out. But you other guys, man, <laughs> you guys, you made your fortune is in this life, you're being brought down. And let that be a lesson to you other jakes out there, man. Okay? Who's trying to find some other way. Ain't no other way, man. What the hours try to say? May close it out of that. The John ten and one. John ten and one. Book of Saint John, chapter ten, verse one. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. All right, read on. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the potter sucketh, to him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. That might read verse 1 again. St. John September 1, Verily, very I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. From following the American dream, he followed that's coming up some other way. Done. Following Christianity, that's found some other way. Islam, that's found some other way, man. Whatever religion or these other philosophies, you follow in some other way. What is the way? Verse 7. Verse 7. Then said Yahweh Shah to them, Verily, verily, suck it. Verily, verily, I said to you, I am the door of the sheep. You have to come through me. There's only one way, man. Uh, Unless you've been telling our people the only way to salvation is not through that white Jesus or that religion. It's through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, the real savior of the 12 tribes. That's it. You got to come back to your nationality. You got to come back to your power. You got to come back um, having faith, the commandments, all right? And above all, you have to endure. Okay? I'm reading verse 9. Right? Run, read. I am, jump down to verse 9. I am the door. So Yahweh Shai is that door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. It shall go in and out and find pastor. Done. 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 And that's he's, the door. Yeah, he's the door. He's, he's the, the way. way. That's it. Mm -hmm. Shah is the way, man. It's about to be done now. Done. Yeah, this was the worst battery. Yeah, this was about almost uh, two and a half. That time been flying, man. It has. I have. You know? hopefully, these, hopefully these videos can get up today, man, because... And we know that's all spirits for 30. We know that's all spirits, man. You know, messing with brothers, man. You know, that's a part of the fight, man. Because like we said, you know, these demons and these principalities, they know who we are, man. So we just got to keep fighting, keep believing. And Lord willing, we can make it, man. That's what Yahweh Shai said. 
Let's see if we get one more. Yeah, so that's self-explanatory. If you know a thief is coming, you're going to get ready. All right? Read on. Verse 44, Therefore, be ye also ready Lord, for in such an hour as ye think One not blood. the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful who then is a, is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made ruler over his household? Now look at the state of that derelict who said that. Now, is he, he's a guy who's a bum. <laughs> read on, read on. <laughs> no, but look at the state of him. Is a white man helping him? He's a jackass, man. Uh, verse 45. Get some, some derelict, man. Dude is a bum talking shit, man. What does Sirach say about that? And that made no sense. How are you saying love everybody, but then he's saying, he's saying his brother, he said, but you want to love your brother. That made no sense what he's saying. Then he's saying love everybody, but not my brother. This is dumb. What are you saying? That's why the scripture says, Sirach 25, verse 2. Three sorts of men my soul hated, and I am greatly offended at their life. This is the point. A poor man that is proud. This guy, you can probably see that he's, he's homeless or something, man. Just based on the way, and you can tell that he gets drunk a lot, just just hearing his voice, man. You could you could you could clearly see that he probably been drinking, because he got spirits on him, man. And the word cutting him spirits, that's the yeah, word. yeah, and yeah. They had him to, like, I'm literally you reading something nothing to do with what he's talking about. He's talking he, about love, love everybody. To me, that's that. To, for me, I feel like he heard the truth. He had to hear the truth. Of course, he heard the truth. Then the true. first time we cut that dude. Are you coming before? Yeah. <laughs> Man, but you can clearly see that guy, he's in a worse state, man. Should've hearkened. Should've yeah. hearkened. Should've said about poor man is proud. And you can tell that guy, whatever little money he get, he just drinks. Drink, 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 man. Go ahead. Matthew 24, 45. And he talk about one blood. First of all, that was going into idolatry. We, um, Paul mentioned that in um, Acts 17 chapter. And when you take it further, um, yeah, the most high they create... Um, Everybody come through Adam, but what does the scripture say? Now if I get that, we close it out with that Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Deuteronomy Nobody want to go into it, but we're going to read it. Deuteronomy 20, 30, sorry, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nation their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Everybody come from Adam, we know that. All right, read on. For the Lord's portion is his people and that's what you fail to comprehend the idiot man the yeah. lord's portion his portion is his people uh -huh. everybody do come from adam one blood and that was one it's idolatry but that was what we all do come to one blood or one man but there's separation the lord's portion is his people man and who is his people okay jacob is the is the lot of his inheritance man you child's play man that's child's play and what did come on man that's edges right yeah like edges it was second Ezra 6 54. He said, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest, Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. We know that. Welcome, at Adam. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. There's a separation. The Israelites. 
All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sins. So the world is made for us. Right. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, nothing. but be likened unto spit or stick, and is like the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Like, this guy, come on, man. Come on, that's, that's so easy to cut, man. John. Come on, man. The Most High never dealt with all nations, period. He never established a covenant with all people. Right, he established a covenant with the Israelites, with the law, statutes, and commandments. He told our forefather Abraham he was going to do that. The Israelites obviously broke the covenant. So he sent his son to renew the contract. But this time you have to come through him now. His son. And if you come through the son, then the son will testify your name before the father. That's it. And the Gentiles that were scattered were the Israelites, man. Because it says that in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, that we'll be scattered amongst the nations. Done. Now the Heavenly Father, we read that earlier in Baruch, that he's gathering us from the east and the west by the word, man. Done. The word is gathering us, man. All right? We're being gathered right now. All right? So, you know, we're going to close it out. Done. Out here pushing the word, you know what I mean? Like I say, giving all praise, Yahweh, by Shah. I'm supposed to give a double honest LGMS, honest Yahakim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. Hopeful elect and I'm a Abad Babal, destroy Babylon. Alright, that and say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.